My name is Ellen Ray and I'm the valedictorian of the graduating class of 2020. My family moved to Cleveland when I was five and I grew up here. I have pretty much always known that I wanted to be an engineer. When I was a little kid I used to make inventions and uh, throw my Barbie dolls off of swing sets to perfect parachutes that I would make for them. In school I would participate and compete in a, like invention convention, contraption fair. Uh, when I was in 11th grade, I was given the opportunity to shadow a mechanical engineer and it was literally the best day ever and I knew that that was my career path that I wanted and I eventually ended up going to Cleveland State to pursue that and uh, at Cleveland State I picked up a physics major as well. So uh, that's a little bit about me. I have a lot of great memories on campus. Uh, when I first started, like my freshman and sophomore year, I hung out a lot in the Honors College Lounge. It was really nice for me to have a tight-knit community of people when I first started Cleveland State that are as academically motivated as I am. Um, I've met a lot of friends in the physics department at Cleveland State, which is another pretty small group of people. We used to go to Cafe Aroma and Balance and a bunch of the food places around campus between classes, and I really enjoyed that. Um, I also really loved working on the fluid power bike. Uh, it was a great team and lots of very talented students and we became friends over the course of the project. I would say the biggest thing that helped me set my career path, um, aside from knowing I wanted to be an engineer, was the Cleveland State Co-op program. I've had three co-op rotations and each time I was given a significantly different role from like individual contributors uh, doing coding to making drawings and doing like more of a design type thing to uh, like a management level solving problems on a bigger scale. And I think over that time I was able to discover that I really enjoy the technical side of engineering, the drawing, the design, but I also really like the leadership point of view of like uh, solving larger problems. So eventually in my career I think I'm going to pursue a a, a role where I have a leadership position but I'm still connected to the bare bones engineering side that is like my favorite thing. Uh, I was accepted into the GE Aviation Edison Engineering Development Program. This will start in January and in the meantime GE is actually uh, paying to have me start my master's degree while I wait, which is really nice of them. And then uh, once the program actually starts, I will go through a three-year rotation where each year I work in a different group at GE Aviation, which they do uh, jet engine design primarily. And I will learn a different facet of that, like controls or design or manufacturing. And I will also uh, get my master's degree in the meantime, and GE is sponsoring that. And then at the end of the three years, I will be placed based on company need and my preference in a certain position, like a certain group as a permanent engineer. And uh, I'll work at GE. I would say networking is the most important thing. Uh, as soon as you start on school, or at school, uh, try to start building your network. Specifically for engineering students, get a co-op as soon as humanly possible. It is never too early. I got my first co-op after my freshman year. I didn't know anything and I was still able to get a very valuable experience. Uh, you'll become a better student because you'll know what companies are expecting of you when you're in the classroom learning. You'll start developing professional skills which are so important and the more developed they are when you start your career the better off you'll be. And then also you'll learn more about yourself in terms of do you like uh, the automotive industry, would you rather work in heavy manufacturing, and you'll learn that before you ever have to sign a contract and actually take on a permanent job.